Joining us once again this morning is Jordan Lieberman. He is the publisher of Politics Magazine. Uh, got some sleep in the eyes after staying up all night looking at this raid. Jordan, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, let's talk a little bit about, you know, we're, we've, we've talked so much about who's ahead, who's not ahead. As you get into the finer details of some of this, it's very clear that you've got a, an African-American and a woman and a Mormon and a war veteran. And there's a lot to look at here in the character and fiber of these people. Let's talk about race and the gender gap for just a minute. Sure. Because you've got a vast majority of blacks who voted for Barack Obama. White women went largely for Hillary Clinton. White men went for Barack Obama. And black men went for him as well. So what does this say about the fabric of America? Well, it certainly isn't, it, you know, it's not encouraging that, you know, we have to talk about race and gender and politics, but the fact is that, you know, you know, people vote for people they know and, and, and can relate to, um, and the gender gap, and perhaps more importantly, the age gap in, in this, in Democratic primary is very pronounced. Um, without the, without, without seniors, Hillary Clinton would be in a lot of trouble right now. Now, one of the big questions for McCain and Republicans is going to be, is McCain so-called conservative enough, conservative enough to generate enthusiasm for the base of the party, enough to get them to go out to the polls in big, no, uh, big numbers in, in November. Now, John McCain talked about that last night at the address in the clip we just played. Is this going to be an issue for the party? Is this going to be an issue for him, Jordan? Oh, it sure is an issue. The fact that he had to he had to say that he's a conservative on this night, yeah. yeah he had it, to say it, he was Republican. It's like, yeah. I, I, <laughs> Remember I, I, th me? I think we know that you are. Yeah. Why was he saying it over and over again? What was the point? To, to silence well, the critics on talk radio? Well, yeah, the, the talk radio crowd, conservatives across the board are not fans of John McCain. Um, but, you know, he, he, he's winning with independent-minded Republicans um, and, and liberal Republicans. He is not winning with conservative Republicans, and, and they're going split between Mitt Romney and, and, and Mike Huckabee. He is in a lot of trouble with conservative Republicans. He needs, to, he needs to do something to make up for that. And so as you see McCain pull way ahead of Romney now by almost 300 delegate votes, uh, Huckabee becomes a much bigger player in this because he does have the conservative vote. What do you think would be uh, the reaction to a McCain Huckabee ticket? Um, it's it's people it's people are going to be talking about it all day today. It's it's a very well balanced ticket. They like each other. They complement each other. A senator and a governor. Um, it is in many ways an ideal ticket. Although um, it's a little early to call up uh, Mike Huckabee, uh, John McCain's running mate. You know there are all kinds of people that would do uh, just as good of a job um, who who perhaps could add some other things to the ticket. But yeah, it's. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in many ways a Republican dream ticket, uh, bringing together both wings of the party. And, of course, they're going to have to really get ready to start hitting the uh, next round of states that are going to come up uh, uh, in just a few days. Uh, Jordan Lieberman, publisher of Politics Magazine, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. See you soon.